In this lesson, we'll look at another conservation of momentum problem involving velocity and direction. The question reads, a 75 kilogram hockey player is traveling at 12 meters per second, collides with a 90 kilogram player traveling at right angles to the first at 15 meters per second. The players stick together. Find the resulting velocity and direction. Assume the ice surface to be frictionless. Let's begin with a quick illustration. Let's represent the first hockey player, the 75 kilogram player, to be traveling to the right. And this player has a mass of 75 kilograms and a velocity of 12 meters per second. Then we have a second hockey player who's a little heavier at 90 kilograms, and they are traveling at right angles to the first. So they are traveling, let's say, up 90 kilograms with a velocity that is 15 meters per second. Once they hit, they stick together, and we want to know where they are heading, their velocity and direction. To tackle this problem, I'll be using the formula for momentum being p is equal to the mass times velocity. And I'll use this value to represent the magnitude of each of these vectors. So the momentum of this one is 75 kilograms times a velocity of 12. And let's include the units. So we have 75 times 12 makes 900 kilograms times meters per every one second. And for the other player, Again, same formula, 90 kilograms times a velocity of 15 meters per second. Let's use our calculator. That gives us 1350 kilograms times meters per second. The next thing that we can do is make an assumption as to where they will land. Obviously, if this one's going in this direction and this one is going up, being heavier and faster, that the resultant vector will be somewhere here. So if we were to place this on an xy plane, and I placed this vector over here, and that vector over here, let's use the color orange, adding these two vectors up would be somewhere over here. Now to add them up, just pretend that we shifted this purple vector at its tip, and we created a resultant vector to this point here. The magnitude of this orange one we found to be 900, and the magnitude of this purple one was 1350. Using trigonometric functions that we know, sine, cosine, tangent, we can come up with the angle for this resultant vector. I'll use tangent. Tangent theta represents the opposite and the adjacent, both of which we have, y over x. So we have 1350 over 900. And I'll use the inverse tan. So inverse tangent 1350 over 900 gives us an angle of 56.3 degrees. So that's the direction that they're moving. To find out the velocity, we can find the magnitude of this, which will represent the momentum of them stuck together. And from there, we can find the velocity. So we can do that by using Pythagorean's theorem. Remember, it's a right triangle at the end of the day, right? So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. We're looking for c. I'll throw in 1350 into here and 900 into here and solve for c. Let me show you how to solve. So 1350 raised to the power of 2 plus 900 raised to the power of 2, then we square root. We get 1622.49. That makes sense because the momentum should be more given that they both weigh more collectively being stuck together. OK, so that's the magnitude. That's p of them being stuck together. And remember, p is equal to m times v. The mass together is 75 plus 90. That's 165. That's in kg. The velocity is what we're looking for, so let's leave that blank. And the momentum is 1622.5, let's say. 
Solving for v, we divide both sides by 165. So take that number on the screen, divide it by 165, and we get 9.83 meters per second. So the speed is 9.83, the magnitude, or the momentum, is 1622, and the direction is 56.3. And there you have it. That is how to find the velocity and direction using the conservation of momentum.